Hey, hey, Minecrafters, guess what? It's Kimmy Sand. I'm back for another episode of Kimmy Say Craft. I hope everybody's doing great. Now, I'll be honest with you, I have not logged onto the server in a couple days because, well, it's the end of the school year. I got, I'm trying to get students to pass, so that's my priority. But, hey, let's go ahead and see what's going on. I got a message from Whoops that he left us a present in our aquarium. Was it a present or was he just helping out? Let's see here. Ooh, look at that. We've got fishies. They're all at the top, though. Oh, no, there's some floating around there. Look at that. There's a blowfish. Very cool. You know what? I'm wondering if we need to get some lights in there to light it up some. Because the lighting in the skylight is so bright. Yeah, we might need to do that. We might consider that. Of course, you've got to be careful with the blowfish in there. Look at that little guy. Look at this guy. It's very cool. Thank you, whoops, so much for all the fish in there. Now, we can't put axolotls in there because axolotls will eat um, will eat some of the other fish. So we'll have to put we'll have to have a separate tank for some axolotls. And we can't put uh, and I think that's all we're going to have. This is just going to be the big tropical fish assortment. Hopefully, we'll get them to do a little bit more than stand up there at the top. <laughs> okay, well very good. Awesome. You know, let's take a moment and see if we have been making any diamonds on the shops. I hope your week has been great. My week has been great since the last time I saw you guys, and I hope everything's been going well. By the way, guys, there's three free, easy things you can do to help the channel out. You can hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, drop me a comment or an emoji. Ooh, that shit looks so good out there. Good job on that orange face. Okay, so yeah, three free things. Don't forget you can do that. Let's hear, have we sold any um, chests? Yes, we did. We sold another ender chest. Fantastic. Have we sold any... Yes, we have. And, of course, we've restocked. We've been keeping the stock up, so that's great. Have we sold any of those? No. We need to restock those, though. Okay, very good. All restocked. That's looking good. Let's go ahead and check out if we have sold any more armor. I don't think we have, but we've had some returning guys to the server, which has been pretty awesome. And it gave me an idea for another shop, but I'm probably going to have to go into Cahoots with Whoops to create the other shop. Why, you say? Well... I'm going to have to make some helmets. In fact, you know, we might just go ahead and do that. Let's do that. Let's make some helmets. There we go. There we go. At least somebody can get some helmets when they come in. And at two diamonds, it's still a deal. So there we go. Very nice. Very nice. we got to keep the stock shopped. So nothing... Ooh, well, I guess we could have checked to see if we sold any horse armor. Nah, that's okay. No problems. No problems here. Yeah, so we've having some people return to the shop and needing to buy some of the necessities and everything. But I want to make a style shop. Now, whoops, has already kind of done a little bit, but I have an idea that will help people out on the server. Okay, let's just check the wool. Whoops. Boy, I need to get some more rockets. My rockets are going to... I don't think, yeah, I don't think there's much in here. But it's always worth checking, guys. Always worth checking. Lots of stock. That's what I love about a good wool shop that just auto replenishes. I think that's the way to go. That way you don't have to like continue to bring wool to it and everything like that. Awesome. Very good. Okay, so what do we want to do today? Well, that is a great question. So let's head on over to the zoo. Ooh, I forgot. Spoicy here is back and he's customer orders and building blocks available. Check it out. I think he's restocked a lot of his wood. Yeah, there we go. Okay, good, good, good. So we can just come grab wood in here now, which is my preferred way of gathering materials. Super happy that Spoicy is in the game now. That's fantastic. Okay, well, cool. I got to think. I, I, I want to make a commission of Spoicy. I got to think about what it should be and where it should be, right? Okay, so we got, so thinking about it, trying to think about a good commission. I know there's a, you know what? Here's a be a good commission. What do you guys think? I'd like you to get a yes or no in the comments. Okay, I'm thinking about commissioning Spoicy for a big suspension bridge over this river, right? And it will connect to a road that will go over this way because over this way, guess what? Spoicy's building himself a castle. Check this thing out. I think he has gotten a great start to it. Um, it looks like he has a main gate over there and another gate over there and a gate over. So three gates. I love the spires that he's already got started. The wall looks plain thick enough. Very good. So Spoicy, which um, I think he has a farm over here around somewhere. But he went ahead and started making that. Wouldn't it be great if we had... 
Let's see here. Does this river go all the way over there? Yeah. Wouldn't it be great if we had a suspension bridge going over there and a road coming over here that would just wrap around the mountain and um, maybe give access to his um, to his to his castle? I think that would be great. So let me know down in the comments. Should I commission a bridge from Spoisey? A nice big suspension bridge that that comes over the top like that. I think that would be great. It, let me know in the comments. Either give me a happy face if you say yes or a sad face or a yes or a no. I'd love to see what you guys think. Should we commission Spoisey? Okay, so anyway, so we've gotten part of our thing going to go. I'm thinking about just leaving this open here with like, uh, you know, of course, well... Uh, not necessarily open, but have some sort of design there, but it's kind of like open, so it lets the air in, right? And then we're going to go ahead and carve out a few other aquarium spots in this area over here. Now, I'm not sure if that's what we're going to do today because I'm thinking about doing another part of the zoo, but for sure, moving through things. Now, um, good news, I was if you've been wondering whether the pandas have been, like, you know, getting out of the pit... Um, they have, which makes me happy because, you know, I don't want them to sit in the pit the entire time when the zoo's going. But you know how zoos are. Have you ever been to a zoo? You go to a zoo and sometimes the animals just end up hiding in places where you can't see them. Yeah, like there's a panda there. There's a guy right there. Let's see here. There's still quite a few in the pit. Last time I walked by, there were like three or four over on this end. Yeah, like this guy right here who's out wandering around. So check it out. Check it out. Well... Here's suffice to say, sometimes the animals will hide, so you just got to know how to find them and everything. And there's there's about three or four of them down there, but that's okay. So what do I want to make? Well, I want to make, um, I'm thinking of making a camel display. Camel slash alpaca slash donkey. So I'm trying to figure out which place to put it at. Should we put it here where we have this nice big, arid, make a nice big arid display over there? Um, should we put something over here? We've got this great area right in here in the center. I do know that for our goats, that this back area behind the pandas, we're going to have a walkway. So we've got to build the walkway because this will be our goat area down here. Yep, and we've got to fill some of this in so the goats are actually trapped in there. Yeah, and plus we got to get some goats, right? Yes, yeah, so we got to go get some mountain goats for that. Should we put the alpacas in with the mountain goats? What do you guys think? Should alpacas go with mountain goats or should we have a separate alpaca zone? Yeah, I'm thinking the goats will just be on that area. This area, I'm not quite sure what to do with is in this big area here. Wow, look at those vines who've been growing down. That's funny. I'm not sure what to do with this. I'm thinking about just flattening it out and turning into a different display right here. So um, let me know down in the comments. I'm going to be doing that. Plus, you know, I want to start working on the swamp. Uh, and, of course, the turtles. Gosh, there are so many things to do here today that I would like to get started on. Um, the turtles would round out this end of it. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do, guys. Is I'm going to take a moment to do some pondering. I'm going to start getting some work done, and I'm going to bring you guys back in when I'm ready to show you off, okay? Be back in a minute, guys. This is Kimmy Say. I'm back, and I'm excited because, well, I've gotten some work done. So let's talk about... Oh, look at this. I forgot. Um, before we get started, whoops, left us another um, animal drop. So we have some some mushrooms. I guess we got to come up with a display for them, as well as why are they over there in my panda display? How annoying. Well, hopefully they'll despawn. And we've got ourselves some puppy dogs, some wolves. There's got to be a way where we can get the different variants of wolves over here, too. So that's going to be pretty exciting. But we haven't upgraded to the next um, thing yet, so we'll be doing that. Uh, I really don't want to go in there and fight those guys because I don't want them to actually shoot, accidentally shoot my pandas. Okay, well, anyways, check it out. So, guys, we have made a, um, well, we're going to call this a goat place. So, down there, we've got this great rocky ravine area with some grass and everything. And we're going to transplant some goats here. Now, I went ahead and closed it off so it's just this front area. I might actually, uh, I might actually f make that a big flooring area. Like like an upper plateau area over there, in which we'll put the um, alpacas. But down here right now is going to be the goat zone. So we've got a whole got a really varied area, and I think the goats. I probably still have to goat proof it just a little bit more. Like 
I don't know, like maybe lifting that up there. And I have to find some goats too. That's the other thing is I don't have any goats to put in there. But I think it's going to be a pretty nice area. Like if we um, go ahead and hop on into it, okay, all the walls are pretty sure. I don't think goats can jump that far. I could be wrong. Okay, they can come down here. They can look around. You know, maybe we can put some more grass up there and everything. I think the only area that might be a problem is going to be this area. And we can make that higher. Maybe take out some of the steps there. Look at those vines growing. Love the, gro love the growing vines and everything. And then we can put moss around here. I think this would be I think this would be a good goat area. So this is going to be our goat area. I went ahead and followed the same theme with the... Um, with the with the um, bamboo um, the bamboo edging there so we can see the end of it and I think it's a pretty good display because there wouldn't be that many places where goats can hide in here yeah I mean where you'll still be able to see them a good a good zoo is going to give us a give us a good viewing point but still give the animals some place to go so I'm pretty excited about that I think I, that, I think that's gonna look pretty sharp right there as far as for a big display. You know, so very cool. I like it right all the way right around there. I think that's plenty of room for about, I don't know, let's try to get maybe four, maybe five goats in there or something. That's what I'm thinking is what we're going to do. And then the big ravine behind it, I'm thinking we might get, might do a, uh, a lowered plateau in there. Okay, so, so as if it was like in a big thing and put alpacas in there. I think that would be pretty good. Now, as far as goats go, I'm not sure the closest place to find goats. Bet you some of the guys where I found goats. Like, a, for, like for instance, this mountain over here just is not tall enough. We have to go to some really tall areas for some mountains. Huh, I didn't know somebody made a, um, looks looks like a generator in there. Look at all the horses. What are the horses doing up here? Oh, skeleton horses, too. Anyways, ha, huh, how funny. That's all, that's all, um, that is all orange faces stuff. Now, yeah, so, I mean, so what I got to do is I've got to... I love the bridge across there. Is I've got to find a place where to get where we can get some goats and everything, and I think that's going to be that's going to be the way to go. Yeah. So, huh, pumpkins. Interesting. Just saw those. Very very cool. But the good news is that we're starting to get everything that we need to um, put the zoo together. So I'm pretty pretty stoked about that, and I hope you guys are. Lots of things are coming together. It's loves. It's awesome seeing new builds from some of the other players um, form up as well. So I'm pretty excited to see um, more of these more of these bases start to come together. Not to mention, I need to get back to my Ravenwood base and work on that as well. So we'll probably have a Ravenwood um, update. I haven't done this, I haven't gotten a whole lot done on it recently, but that's definitely needing to come up pretty soon here um, so that I can let you guys know what's happening. Oh look, I see what he's doing. Yeah, so um, I just noticed this because it was glowing when I walked over here. Is everything that is greened is stuff that we have found, either by whoops or somebody else. So we have llamas somewhere, um, skeleton horses, yes, got those. Parrots, we don't have all five variations, but I know we got parrots. Um, frogs, I know we got some of the frogs, or maybe we got the other colors because he highlighted them all. So that's pretty awesome. Mushroom, red and brown. So I, so we got red ones over there for sure. Maybe we can get some brown ones too. Wolf variants. We still have to get some wolf variants. We already got one, so that's pretty good. But, we, but I've got to update the server for that. Okay, well, guys, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for hanging out with me again today. And um, like I said, you know, um, school's starting to um, come done, so I'm pretty excited about that because that means... Um, that I might be able to get some more time to do some of the different builds and stuff that I'm hoping for. But don't forget, guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, drop me a comment, let me know. Should I put an order in for um, Spoicy to go ahead and build that bridge? I think I can give him a ton of diamonds for that. And other than that, guys, I hope you have a great week. This is Kimisei for, guess what? Yep, Kimisei Craft. Catch you later. Bye-bye.